now that we've covered that observational stuff, let's get into the more abstract, right? How about traveling through time? Can we travel into the future? Um, now, that's a really interesting idea, and we're absolutely doing that every second of our lives. Um, you know, we are always traveling into the future at the rate of one minute per minute. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious. Um, but imagine, you know, some people originally, like Isaac Newton, they thought, you know, time was like an arrow. It's linear, you know, you can only go through it once. Um, but recently, um, you know, people like Albert Einstein and other great scientists have redefined uh, time, and, and they made it in the aspect of, imagine, you know, our universe is made out of a thing called space-time, right? Uh, it's a four-dimensional fabric where basically we have our three spatial dimensions, uh, horizontal, vertical, and depth, and then a fourth dimension which we'd consider time, right? So imagine necessarily we can travel forward through time or at, at a different rate necessarily than normally, right? Imagine, you know, can we travel into the future a little bit faster or a little bit slower uh, than others, right? Now, imagine this, um, if we look at, say, Einstein's theory of general relativity, right? It says, as an object approaches the speed of light, time is shortened for them, right? So that means, you know, if, if that time is, is slowing down for them, um, imagine, you know, if we have a person on Earth, like, say, two twins, right? It is a, usually a paradox, but we have two twins on the Earth born at the same exact time, right? We put one of them in a spaceship, shoot them off, you know, to some other galaxy, whatever, and we put them at some speed near the speed of light, let's say 90% the speed of light or whatever, right? Uh, when they go and return from their trip, right, um, they will notice they're a lot younger than the twin that stayed on the Earth because since they were near that speed of light, time shortens for them, so necessarily they are still traveling into the future, but they are doing it necessarily at a faster rate because it was shrunken. Um, so imagine, you know, if, if what seemed for like a hundred years for your Earth twin was only like one year for, you know, the space travel twin. Um, so imagine this, you know, let's say now that we've covered traveling across space time, right, is there a possible way that we can just skip over it, right? Can we jump through space-time. Now, there's lots of ideas about this, let's say, you know, wormholes, black holes, and time machines, and all this kind of stuff. You know, instead of just traveling through it, can we actually just jump it? Now, there, there's a few different classifications of how we could have this happen, um, you know, and, and a lot of it really, really works out. Imagine, um, if our space-time, this four-dimensional sheet, you know, let's just say it's kind of like my hands, right? This is space-time, right? Now, imagine if we wanted to travel from here to here, right? Necessarily, we could take the time to travel all the way across that, as in our previous example, or imagine we could just bend space-time to do that, right, and then jump from that point to the other. Um, so that absolutely is possible, necessarily. Um, but the problem, it takes a ridiculous amount of energy, like, you know, comprehensible to an exploding star or a black hole or something. It's a ridiculous amount of energy that would be required to bend space-time to that point where it would collide in on itself so you could jump uh, in between two points without having to travel actually in between them. Um, you know, having to travel across that space-time, you just simply fold it and jump through it a lot easier and a lot faster. Um, so that would necessarily be another way we could say, hey, we can travel forward uh, in time, or say necessarily jump forward in time. Now, um, how about this? Can we travel backwards in time? Now, this is probably a lot, a lot of what you guys were really interested in, uh, but necessarily yeah, we can, in some aspects, you know, we can jump backwards in time. Imagine when we are saying, let's jump, let's say, through any two points in space-time, right? We can necessarily jump forward in the time dimension or in spatial dimension. So imagine you could be teleporting as well as traveling to different points. Now, you could probably figure out in some way, we haven't exactly got the mathematics to work out, um, whether you'd be traveling forward or backwards, but still, that aspect is very well plausible. So it's the same idea, just as jumping forward in time. Um, now, unfortunately, we can't do that travel back in time, like cover that distance, right? Um, because imagine, you know, when we had that example of the two twins, they were just traveling forwards at a different rate, right? Neither of them was traveling backwards. So that method doesn't work. But if we wanted to travel backwards in time, we still could technically have that jumping mechanism as I described earlier. So um, basically, that were four different main categories of questions people usually have about time travel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please remember to like up and subscribe. And also make sure, if you guys haven't, there is my second channel, which is going to have all this content on there, um, you know, all my future you now answers. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day.